In this example on horizontal and vertical alignment, we'll take a more broad perspective beyond looking at just a single horizontal or vertical curve. We'll take this example looking at a problem of needing to connect US 129 on the north part of the image shown and on the bottom part of the image NC 143. So the objective of this lesson is to connect these two roadways. There are several obstacles that you may notice in the vicinity of this area. One is a church and cemetery. We see there are commercial and residential buildings, the commercial buildings in purple and the residential buildings in the kind of light tan color. And then a natural, natural area on the right side of the area, as well as a little bit of information about vertical uh, or elevation issues in the area. Uh, Huckleberry Knob on the left side of the Chioa River and on the right side of the Chioa River, Chioa Bald, as well as other existing roadway networks in the area. So when we look at this example, you can maybe in your mind start thinking about the numerous, maybe even hundreds of alternatives you may consider to make this ultimate connection between US 129 and NC143. You can start with just simple straight lines connecting the roadways and again, you may have hundreds or even thousands of these straight lines that you could draw. We're going to talk through a few of these more specifically. Maybe you have a few line segments connecting them. So starting on the left side of this image, maybe you have an, an alignment that connects US 129, try to misses the church and cemetery, misses the buildings, uh, doesn't go too close to the high point in elevation and connects with NC 143. Uh, as after it crosses the Chioa River. Maybe you try to shorten the length of that roadway by extending Mill Creek Road. Uh, maybe you take out some of the houses or commercial buildings or missing the houses and commercial buildings you extend Mill Creek Road and connect directly to NC 143. Another alternative you may go to Old Tallulah Road and make a connection somewhere there to NC 143, or maybe a similar to the extension of old Mil of Mill Creek Road, you could do an extension of Airport Road, have a crossing of Franks Creek, but avoid Chioa River, and try to kind of go around the edge of, of Chioa Bald as well. Or you could take advantage of Franks Creek Road, try to extend that to make that final connection with NC 143. So these are just a few of the examples. There's lots of considerations you need to make before deciding which alternative was the best or was optimal and would need to need to consider a variety of factors including the natural areas, uh, the human environment, uh, the rivers, creeks, and the elevation that would be required to traverse to make these connections. Now we'll take a closer look at one of the alternatives. This isn't necessarily the best alternative but it may be one that after more detailed analysis could be selected. And this is the one that extends Mill Creek Road to NC 143, making that connection that was desired between US 129 and NC 143. So the first step for the designer would be to extend that tangent at the end of Mill Creek Road. And the next obstacle we'd be looking to avoid is Huckleberry Knob, which has some elevation and would want to, to avoid that. So we may put a forward tangent coming off the existing tangent of Mill Creek Road and we'll have a tangent that ties in to that tangent. Likely for this one we would stop before we impact the commercial and residential structures and this will now create another curve. We'll eventually tie in between those tangents. The next tangent will cross the Chioa River and could intersect with NC 143. This intersection though would be somewhat skewed and so We'll actually do one final tangent to have a closer to a 90 degree intersection with NC 143. The next step will be to go and erase the excess, excess pieces of tangent and this will be our preliminary alignment. We could then go back and design and lay out our curves that would connect each one of these tangents and so with those four new tangents we'll be left with three curves we can also do a detailed evaluation of possible vertical alignment alternatives. So we'll take the alternative that we, we looked at 
And so this is the, what we see here is the end of the existing Mill Creek Road on the left side of the screen. On the right side of the image here, we see NC 143. And this highway is actually going into and out of the screen. It was in a curved area, so we see there's super elevation on that highway. And then we see the dashed line is the existing terrain in between our end and beginning point, as well as the Chioa River. And so we'll take a similar approach for our vertical alignment. We'll start with tangents. We can do these from each end of where we're connecting the end of Mill Creek Road and tying into the intersection at NC 143. At that point, we can use a single or multiple tangents to connect those initial tangents. In vertical alignment, we're very interested in trying to balance the cut and the fill that's needed within this given project. So in some areas, we'll have uh, soil that we'll need to remove to construct the roadway, and then in other areas, we'll need soil to fill in um, to bring the existing ground up to the elevation of the tangents that we've designed. So overall, that's what we'd like to do. We'll tie in our tangents. We'll tie them together with vertical curves. These are smooth, parabolic, symmetric vertical curves. And again, looking at it overall, we'd like to balance the cut and the fill. And roughly, we've done this. In this image, it looks like we have a little bit extra fill left over. But generally, that's better than having extra cut. And another portion of this project would be to design the bridge that would be needed to cross the Chioa River. So this completes our vertical alignment. And again, just give us this larger perspective, hopefully, of how curves tie into each other and then also the perspective of relating the vertical alignment to the horizontal alignment that's been done. Often this will be an iterative process. Sometimes you may have a horizontal alignment that may need to be adjusted to fit with certain things in the vertical alignment or vice versa.